Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's Huddles, Coach Mike. We're catching back up here, and yes, we're on our path to greatness, and I hope you guys are as well. So today, I'm going to go with a positive, enthusiastic, energetic thought process for you, because you know what? At the end of the day, when you peel back the onion of all that we do, it comes down to having a strong, positive mindset and psychology that enables us to take our businesses to the next level. Now, whatever business that you're in, whether you're in real estate, you're in mortgage, you're running a small business, a big business, you're a leader, you're a team leader, whatever the case is, everything comes down to individuality when it comes to having a strong, dynamic, and positive and enthusiastic mindset and psychology so you can win more often and get through the tough times a lot easier and a lot smoother because it's going to help you out and that's what I want to share with you today and we're going to start out with a quote and a thought from Mahatma Gandhi and he was an anti-war activist as you guys know known for his great peace and his his positivity and he believed in all things about people and staying connected in the world and he said simply this, that keep your thoughts positive because your thoughts become your words. Keep your words positive because your words become your behavior. Keep your behavior positive because your behavior becomes your habits. Keep your habits positive because your habits become your values. And keep your values positive because your values become your destiny. In all of human history, all of human history, the most positive people are the ones that move forward. May not appear that way in their own world. They may not have experienced it in the depth of their operations, their business, their lives. But on the face of it, in the face of this world that they live in, they were often very positive individuals. And as Mahatma said, at the end of the day, your values, keeping positive because your values become your destiny, this is an internal game. It's an inner game that must go on. And our bodies, our minds, our spirits react to being positive. So today I want to share with you some quick thoughts. I want you to take out a piece of paper, take out a pen, and write these thoughts down. You can always come back to these recordings at realprofitbuilders.com because they're so very important. There's not a, f- a lot of fluff and a lot of, uh, uh, of fantasy out there. The reality is, no matter what you're going through, whether things are going well for you or you're challenged right now, you got to maintain a positive attitude. You got to maintain your thoughts to be good so that way you can go through. And continue to increase. You got to be able to go through the challenges, while at the same time it enables you, as I said, to go through the increase of your growth right now. And it's all great. Now, before I get into these quick points here today, okay, oftentimes the hardest task for most people is to believe in themselves and having the right attitude. It's the right psychology. To be successful and the power of your of, of a positive mind is underestimated by everybody because they're caught in the middle of their challenge and they don't often think about it and these negative thoughts overpower us in ways that we can never imagine and it's difficult to complete tasks it's give, difficult to to transact business It's difficult to have great communications with our families, a number of things. And we oftentimes set this up in ourselves because we're not either making progress or we become complacent. And at the end of the day, guys, we have to put ourselves in a frame that says that we can. Because what ends up happening, these these foundational things set up in our mindset that says, I can't do this. I'll never be able to do that. And we let these thoughts continuously over and over and over again 
dwell, we dwell on them over and over again, and we continuously implement them in our lives. The thought that I can't do something, and you're right. The thought that you'll never be able to do that, you're right. And if the more you tell yourself that, the more you believe that it's not going to be possible. So let's shift it. Okay, takes work, takes consistency in these areas. Not always going to be perfect. Not always going to be perfect, but what will be perfect is your attitude and your a choice to go forward in the mindset and the psychology of some of these points today. And this is by no stretch of the imagination the end all, but I feel these are foundational pieces in order to help us break through in the areas of our life so we can have more than what we currently have and be able to go through the challenges at a much easier pace and path than we've ever imagined. So let's take out the paper. First of all, you got to take a moment to yourself every day, every couple of minutes, sometimes every hour and conscience, consciously and focus on breathing. Just relax. You got to stop. You got to put down the phone. You got to shut off all the technology and just take 30 seconds to a minute to do this exercise and breathe through your nose, breathe through your mouth and just take it air, take the air in and take the air out. Just let it go and let it be. And that's fine. You can do it. A technique that I use is count to one to 10. Very simple. And you go through that process. So breathing when you get angst, breathing when you feel negative, breathing when you are on a place of uncomfortable or you want to get yourself reconnected breathing is a very very powerful space again you got to shut off everything around you go into a quiet space walk outside find out find an area that's going to help you to be focused on this just for a quick minute and really that's all it takes number two is you got to redirect your thought process you got to take it to a place where you want it to be not what you are currently in Oftentimes we worry about what I currently am in versus about what we really want. So you got to redirect your thought process. And how do you do that? A good way to do it, first of all, is go where you want to be, right? And then physically, either clap your hands, snap your fingers, something to interrupt the pattern to get yourself into a place where you can get and re get redirected and reconnected in a great thought process. Number three is turn down the volume of your negative thoughts. Now the volume can be controlled by your voice or how you how profound the problem that you might be facing with and you keep consistently and constantly talking about it and dwelling on it. And the volume is with other people, the volume is how you say it out loud, you walk around, you're upset, you say, "Oh my gosh, I can't believe how bad I am and though this is terrible." And you start talking and you literally hear yourself say that you got to turn down the volume. Turn down, turn down that volume and get yourself reconnected into a place that is going to be good for you. Now, of course, now that you've turned down the volume of the negative thoughts, let's next take the volume and turn it up on the positive thoughts. The I cans, the I wills, I am capable, I am deserving, I am grateful. All of those things to help you to turn up the volume in those areas and raise that up and, pro and, and preach it out there into the world and say it to yourself, look in the mirror and say, I feel great, I feel healthy, I feel happy. Oh boy, Mike, that's so goofy. Yeah, well, you can choose what you want to do, but there are things that will help you raise that volume of positive thoughts and scream it out if that's what it takes and go make it happen. The next point here is take the I can't out of your vocabulary. Take the word can't. Take the word can't. Can't is not a good word. I can, I will, I must. Very simple. Take the word can't out of your vocabulary. Affirm to yourself, I do a great job and I can do it. I do a great job and I can do it. Affirmations, incantations are very, very powerful ways to, to, to eliminate the negative thoughts, to bring in the positive ones, and saying these affirmations out loud. It's not a goofball. It's not the law of attraction stuff because this is really what we want in our lives and that is we want to have the I can attitude. We Do we want to have a, do a great job? Do we want to have more than we currently have? That's a question to ask yourself. Do I want more? Do I want to do a great job? If the answer is yes, then affirm it to yourself. 
No matter what you're going through, it's all possible. Celebrate your accomplishments. I ask my clients, what are your wins for this week? Oh, I have no wins for this week, some people tell me. There's something that you have a win with. The fact that you wrote this document and said, I have no wins for this week is a win, simply because you had the ability to wake up. <laughs> okay, so what are your accomplishments? Look for them. Where are they? Celebrate those accomplishments. Celebrate your life. Celebrate the fact that you opened a door for somebody. Celebrate the fact that you're making some progress and you may not be making a lot of progress, but celebrate the fact that you're doing something in a way that's going to get you moving forward. Surround yourself. The next point here is with people, your centers of influence. Surround yourself with people that are going to pull you up. People that are going to pull you up. You know what? When you're around a positive group, you heard me say this a couple of weeks ago on one of my recordings, we become the sum and substance, according to Jim Rohn, and it's very true for all of us, of the books that we read, the people we hang out with, and the learnings that we get in our life. And at the end of the day, guys, you have to surround yourself with a positive center of influence. And the final thing, guys, very simply, very important, is you got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in yourself. You got to believe in who you are. You have to have confidence that you are able to serve and help other people and solve major problems. You got to believe that it's all possible because if somebody else can do it, you can certainly do it yourself. But I can't just say that. You have to say that for yourself. I know it's not always easy, not always a walk in the park. However, you got to believe in yourself, believe in your capacity to really impact your own life and the lives of other people. Believe in what you're doing. Believe and have passion in that. If you love what you're doing, you're going to believe in yourself. And the last thing around this whole thought about beliefs is remember that your thoughts, your positive thoughts, get you into a place of taking actions. And the more actions that you take, the more results that you're going to get. The more results that you're going to get, the greater and more powerful your beliefs. Finally, you say and begin to say, yes, I can do this. It's starting to come true. So thoughts, actions, results, beliefs. Stronger beliefs, more powerful thoughts. More powerful thoughts, greater actions, greater actions, greater results, stronger beliefs. It's a circle. It's a wonderful, wonderful journey. Go out there today, make it great, go have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, a wonderful opportunity for yourself, and be positively positive. Talk to you later, Coach Mike Husson. If you have any questions, please reach out to me, Mike at MikeHusson.com, and make sure you get over to RealProfitBuilders.com to listen to this and all of the other recordings that we have to help you build a great life. Talk to you later, make it a great day.